there will be reflowing an Xbox 360. It's one light error. And this error is a little unusual. E73 that can be the CPU. So I'll we'll, uh, reflow the GPU first. And if it doesn't work, I will also reflow the CPU. And I'll be doing this on the brand new Bird 5000, the masterpiece. Just want to explain the profile briefly. Uh, basically, what I did was simply connect the uh, Bird 5000 to my PC, run the software for it, and uh, there's an option here to download information already on the machine to the controller, which I did. And this is a profile that I use for the Bird 4000, and this is the Bird 5000, two di completely different machines with different setups, so you're going to be using different temperatures. You can see this where it's not blurry. Anyways, the only change I made was to the last slope. Increased the temperature uh, from, I believe it was set for 174 to 230 Celsius, and increased the time to 80 seconds. And uh, basically that's it, and that gives me a target temperature that I want to reach on the chip, which I calibrated with a digital thermometer at about 185. This is a board that's been previously worked on, so therefore uh, I suspect there's uh, some spent flux underneath the GPU. It's going to get an ultrasonic bath before I get started. Set the machine for about an hour. Okay, I just ran this through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner for about an hour, rinsed it off with hot tap water, and sprayed the water off with an air compressor. Now I'm just letting it dry on the uh, TX999 because the bottom heater on this thing is incredibly hot, and it will dry it off very quickly. And once that's done, you move it over to the Bird 5000 and reflow. Now the machine is all ready to run the reball process, reflow process. Uh, I like to keep uh, the height of the lamp or the heater uh, low, about a little right to the top of that one little capacitor here. That'll be good. And now all we do simply is go to the computer and run. Everything will be done automatically. The machine will hit five, four slopes, and when the process is complete, should have a perfect reflow of the GPU. Okay, the process is finished. Hook it up and test it out, see what happens. Drop some heat sinks on there.